Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Fable One as usual, and today we do our monthly outfit spotlight. For this spotlight, I was invited by the most notorious outfit in the whole world of Planet Sight. Oh woe. You might know them from their breathtaking artwork on Reddit, but there's more than meets the eye at Owo. Let's go to the interview. Hello guys, today I am joined by Ultimate Muffin Man and Abzu, and they are the representatives of Owo. Thanks for having me guys, but can you tell me what is Owo all about? So, Owo, the uh, notorious furry outfit on Emerald, we are, uh, I guess I'd say probably an outfit that tries to combine a lot of memeing around with actual effective and cohesive squad play. Yeah, we are very, 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 uh, we're definitely, it's hard to say, I don't want to say we're not as serious as these other outfits that you've done, like B-tier and like B-way and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, like, during Ops, we are just as serious as, as them, maybe even more serious compared to B-way, or sorry, compared to B-tier, rather. Um, but like, out of game, and like, our whole, like, um, culture, I think, of our outfit is very, very, like, hey, let's fuck around memes time, so. And did you guys just start when... Yeah, I feel it's already a longer running thing. Uh, we started about maybe four, four or five weeks ago now, I think. Just a little over a month. Oh, really? So and... you're quite a new. Yeah. But, I mean, new doesn't really... It's, it's a new outfit, but both me and Muffin are experienced in leading. And you two both are like the outfit leaders right now. What are more people leading? Yeah, so we, we are the two outfit leaders. We do have other people who are capable of leading, and that's mm -hmm. one of the things as we expand, we're going to be basically teaching new leaders to kind of be there, see if there's anybody interested in it. Um, I've taught a lot of leaders before in my past, so I'm always happy to kind of share that knowledge. But again, it's like a it's more of a bridge that we're yet to cross to. Yeah. So actually you just started recruiting. Uh, on which server do you guys play? So currently we play on Emerald VS, um, mm -hmm. and we have so far just about uh, over a squad and a half of reliable players for uh, Outfit Ops at the moment. Uh, typically we run one full squad of OWO, and then we run the other squad with whoever else kind of wants to join in, might join late or so, and then we open it up to the public. So again, to get that recruitment kind of in, and then also provide a quality experience for the general people out in the server as well on Emerald VS. They are right now doing mainly public platoons. Are you guys planning to do like private platoon squads in, this, in the future or you want to keep uh, it open? It's, it's not really platoons. We're more sticking to about two squads right now just because platoons are, are pretty hard to manage. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, usually on the weekends on our ops, which are Saturdays and Mondays, 8 p.m. EST to 10, uh, we'll usually have two squads up one for uh, outfit members, and then Muffin leads one for public. Yep, and those squads typically are very different in the way that they play. Uh, the squad that I typically run, uh, like I said, I like to be a lot more open to the public, so there's um, kind of an atmosphere that I have to create to make sure I'm taking people who might not know exactly how to play the game and bring them up to a place where they can at least play the game with us. Uh, so that basically means that I'm constantly talking, explaining to them <laughs> what they need to do, where they need to be, um, and things like that. And obviously ask, answering questions and explaining, you know, the very niceties of uh, uh, playing aside gameplay and such, such as, you know, hey, don't top, stand at the very top of a stair, stand back a few feet, you know, little small things. And then Abzu, he runs uh, the outfit squad, which is more, again, that's more of our experienced players, people who are in uh, OWO. They tend to be a little bit more experienced. So um, it's, they don't need as much as that kind of hand holding that I, I provide. Do you still like encounter a lot of really new player or, or mostly already kind of semi? Experience. We've got a, uh, a pretty wide variety right now. I think we have about four people who are um, within like two weeks new to the game. Up to, I believe, uh, both me and Muffin have been playing since 2013. And then we have a couple other people from 2013. And you guys also offer kind of training sessions or something like that? Or just, you know, you go up and try to improve during the, the op nights? Yeah, so we don't necessarily offer... Um... A typical like training session where you would log in and listen to somebody talk for an hour i don't i'm not a firm believer in something like that mm -hmm. uh something where you kind of join into the game and again this is what i usually center my squad around is learning by experience and then having somebody kind of uh help you along that process so again i, I usually refer to it as hand holding um a lot of the time 
Uh, however, we do offer kind of more, um, you know, if people are looking to expand on their shooting capabilities and things like that, we have obviously a lot of other outfits um, and our own stuff as well that they've shared with us to uh, actually help people improve such as documents of, you know, how to basically configure your mouse, you know, things like, uh, you know, basically things like that. If you would, you know, describe your play style, is it like combined arms or mainly infantry point holding? Or what do you guys do? Um, mainly point holding, sort of like a, uh, a pseudo B way, but mm -hmm. <laughs> we also do some, some vehicle play for mainly for the memes. Basically anything that requires 12 people uh, to be working together, we'll, we'll probably attempt at some point. Um, so we're not very close to like what we do. Um, typically on average, it is infantry play. And about the memes, who comes up with the memes? Do you, you guys you know, initiate the memes or do everyone just think about crazy things as well? <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of common things that you can do. I mean, with VS, I mean, obviously, Lancer squads are absolutely hilarious when you just delete someone's galaxy out of the middle of the air and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, other things, I mean, just running all shotguns and stuff. I mean, really, it sometimes comes from us, sometimes comes from players uh, in the outfit. It really kind of depends. And it just, you know, if everybody's feeling like it, we just do it. It's more of a, a natural thing rather than more of a planned thing at this point. Okay. I also see like in your Discord that you guys are more expanding also outside of the game, out of Planetside. You're organizing movie nights and things like that. Is that like a common thing at you guys, uh, iFit, or you do more things? Oh, yes, yes. Movie night is something anyone can join. As long as you are in the Discord after our Saturday ops, you can just pop in and we usually uh, all watch a movie together. Ah, cool, cool. Uh, more things like that planned? Maybe playing other games together or... Uh, it's um, definitely, I definitely say it's in, uh, you know, it's something that we think of. I was actually uh, asking Abzu last week if there's any other games that we can get a large amount of people on in uh, relatively easily, you know, like such as a free game or so. Mm -hmm. um, so, so it's something possible. Um, again, it's all dependent on the feel of the players, though. So obviously, you know, if everybody doesn't want to do something, we're not going to do it. Um, if it's something that everybody's like, that sounds like an awesome idea, we'll plan it on out and start pushing it. Do you guys have any requirements for new players if you want to join, or...? I I would definitely say uh, there's... Well, Abzu can go on a little bit about the other requirements that, have, that we have, but basically, if you're going to join uh, OWO, the one thing you have to have is basically just two years and the ability to follow orders <laughs> um, if you are brand new. Again, more experienced players we give a little bit of more leeway to, um, to some degree, again, not fully. But uh, so long as you're in my squad and you're able to follow along and I can basically associate over the night um, that, hey, you played an ops with us, you are able to at least follow my orders and be with the squad, you know, not even be effective. Just again, you need to just be in the presence because we understand that not everybody's great at the game. Um, we'll, we'll most likely let them in, uh, you know, for that kind of reason. And you guys communicate with like a voice chat, maybe TeamSpeak or do you guys use in-game voice? Yeah, we typically use uh, in-game voice. It's the easiest way for us to communicate to new players, um, which is kind of my concern at the very least. Um, I'm more concerned about having people actually hear us. We don't like being in a team speak or even a Discord talking during ops because then you just, you know, somebody joins into a squad, it's a silent squad, they leave. It's very common, so we try I, to avoid that. Very to, I, to include everyone, that's, uh, that's nice. Okay. How big is the outfit right now, like in total amount of members? Right now, we have about 30 people that are actually in the outfit, but there are, I would say, maybe around 60 or so that, if I asked, they'd, they'd come play with us. A lot of people have dedications elsewhere. One question, though. There's right now also, for example, the play uh, Planet Side Infantry League going on, and for example, I think Planet Side Battles will organize more things in the future. You may want us to maybe participate to coming esports events with OO in the future as well? Uh, recently, I've actually definitely been looking into that. I believe we might have a couple of people that are competent enough for that. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Okay. Yeah. Coming and, soon. Uh, some, yeah, something that I'm also interested in is definitely the uh, Community Smash as well. That is uh, something else that's going to be happening relatively soon. Similar to PIL, but it's more of uh, you know the old server smashes, if you remember those. Yeah. Um, just those, but again, all the servers combined, rather, um, in the community. And I believe that's going to be happening uh, sometime in the end of June or July, maybe sometime around then. So I'm also keeping my eye out there as well. 
If you're looking on Reddit, a lot of people think you are all furries at OO. Is that also the case, or is it not? Isn't isn't it that bad? <laughs> no, not not everybody is a, a furry. It's definitely the outfit is open to any anybody. Now there there is a caveat, however. Um, we do that is that is our purpose, however, though we are the OO <laughs> outfit. So we have to again yes. outwardly project that we are OO. So me personally, I am not a furry. I never have been, never intend to be. Uh, however, um, like in game, we actually have our own uh, outfit kind of uh, outfit, outfit, I suppose, for lack of a better term, uh, what we wear. And basically it's, uh, it re requires the cat ears essentially. So I have the, the, whole... the Lynx helmet. Yes, that. And uh, basically we try to get as many players as we can into that same garb, if they're able to, of course, uh, it's definitely not a solid requirement, but it's something that we like to have. And uh, yeah, we all just, we're while in game, we're all oh whoa. Like when we cap a base, our whole thing is just going to yell chat and putting a big old oh whoa in there so they all understand who capped that base. We want people to know it was us. <laughs> Do you guys play always Vanu or you sometimes play like the lowest pole faction as well? Uh, right now, we, we're we playing Vanu because on on VS Emerald, there is a pretty big gap when it comes to terms with, with out. So you mainly have SKL and B-Way, and we, uh, Owo is kind of like, hopes to be in between for people who aren't ready for the, um, what do I, like, finesse that it takes to be in B-Way, and who would like something more than SKL. Yep, and for those of you guys who aren't too, you know, if you don't know those two other outfits, B-Way is your typical kind of, uh, very elite fit, you know, they have uh, you know, some metrics that they typically go by. They watch their KDs quite a lot and they have really, really exceptional squad play. Um, and SKL is kind of the opposite of that, where it's just, hey, more numbers mean wins, right? And there's very little uh, actual squad leading or team play actually going on in those kind of groups, um, with the exception of, I mean, maybe there, there might be a special day where somebody who knows what they're doing logs on, but again, it's few and far between. Was it also part of the reason to start OWO because you missed something on Emerald Fene, Fenu? Well, for me personally, um, I've been on all factions, uh, essentially led an outfit on uh, NC and TR for some amount of time, and all the factions, or all the outfits rather, that I led um, have kind of fallen into this groove where it's essentially what we used to call a mid-fit. It's kind of hard to call it that nowadays with the uh, current state of the server and uh, <laughs> such. But, uh, you know, we try to fill that role as much as possible because I personally think, at the very least, I'm not too sure how Amsu feels about it, but uh, I personally think it's an integral step in progressing in planet side to go from something that's just a giant Zerg fit to something that's going to give you a little bit more of that taste of team play and hopefully eventually get you to want to be a much better player, like work on your aim and such, and that's when you would go into something like more of a leap fit. And personally, how many hours have you guys put into the game? Give or take? <laughs> Between it, between us, together, uh, definitely more than 10,000. Ooh. <laughs> Salty vets, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> did you guys also play Planet Side 1 by any chance or nothing like that? I, I actually did not. I didn't have the pleasure to, um, unfortunately, because it's, I, the more I read up on it and how it was, it, sound, it definitely sounded like my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, I started early on with Planet Side uh, on NC. And from there, I just, you know, I instantly got hooked with the leading and just from there, just almost five thousand, four, four thousand and a half hours of leading, something like that. Yeah, like seven years later and still leading. That's uh, quite an achievement. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's the one thing I love about this game um, is just taking 12 people and, you know, having them have a great day and, you know, just basically giving them a good experience. And I really... I mean, it's it's a little bit disheartening to see a lack of leaders on planet side nowadays. Um, but hopefully, again, that'll change for the better with this new update. I Definitely, mean, yeah. Taking right. taking twelve people that don't know each other, playing this game, and then throwing them onto a point and holding it at like thirty percent pop is is pretty big dopamine rush. But leading can also be hard, right? I mean, you have to give up some of your own fun sometimes to help the the bigger outfit, right? Or isn't it like that? <laughs> yeah. Mean, Muffin yeah. walks through doors and dies just to, so that other people will. Yeah, I've just, uh, when I lead, um, 
I, I always call myself a, a not exactly a great player because I'm pretty sure all my stats are absolutely terrible because <laughs> I try to lead from the front. Uh, that's typically, in my opinion, at the very least, and I'm, there's many other ways to lead. But uh, the way I personally lead, I lead from the front so that everybody knows which way to go and how to, you know, how, how to actually push in certain circumstances and such. And uh, part of that is me going through the doorway first. And yeah, I usually pay for that <laughs> pretty dearly. <laughs> well, that's a good leader. <laughs> Well, thank you. Uh, thanks for having me tonight, guys. Um, do you have some final things you want to say about OWO? Uh, join OWO. <laughs> yeah, join. Join today. OWO. What a beautiful slogan. Thanks again. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. you.